Ooh, hello and welcome. I am Stephanie and I am here with Judy Malcolm. She's going to be presenting Practical Magic. And uh, before we get started, I just wanted to, I love the little tagline, um, Judy, that you had mentioned that you had been referred to as, as the Johnny Appleseed of spirituality, which I yeah. love. Um, I think it's a great place to start. Do you want to just talk a little bit about that? Because I love that. It's so, you know, cool yeah. and catchy. And fun. Yeah, I, um, uh, for most of my life, I was like bouncing around, no boundaries, no spirituality, you know, thinking like <clears throat> getting a facial was good self-care. And um, then um, after I left the corporate world, I started realizing like that my intuition was really helping me if I listened to it or if I knew how to listen to it. So I mm -hmm. um, started um, kind of following along at other people who are Johnny Appleseeds. And I ended up learning Reiki. I became a Reiki master. And then um, I started learning about boundaries. I don't know why that came late. And then... Um, I went to energy healing school with Reese Thomas and Reese um, spends a lot of time. I don't know if you've heard of Reese Thomas mm -hmm. or the Reese Thomas Institute. And he yep. spends a lot of time individually with you trying to help you figure out who you are through your chakras and your archetypes. And he said to me, you, that's your like me or main archetype is you are a Johnny Appleseed of spirituality. Oh, so nice. You, yeah, yeah. So, um, and I know that because I had been doing that, but I didn't realize that's what I was doing. I own a um, Pilates and movement studio in Hopkinton, Mass. And I've mm. been doing it with my clients, but not realizing that's what I was doing. They're um, mostly housewives who are brand spanking new to the spirituality world. And they, mm. um, you know, they like come in and go, what do I, what, do I smell something in here? Is that marijuana no that's sage you know we're just clearing out the old and in with the mm -hmm. new and, um so they started asking me how i learned these things and you know mm -hmm. you learn a little bit at a time right drip 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 and mm -hmm. uh, and i was starting to feed them a little bit at a time you know what they could handle and then <clears throat> reel it back in so i decided to there must be a lot more people who want to know a little bit about how to learn a little bit. So that's, that's how I got here today. And that's um, great. the best thing, you know, everybody says this when they leave the corporate world, best thing to ever happen to me, leave in the corporate world. So it allowed oh, yeah. me, <laughs> it allows me to actually listen to my, um, my heart. And that's, that's what we're going to talk about is like, that's a, I think it's a good place to kind of start your spirituality is like, um, well, we'll get there, but yeah. Okay. So I'm ready. Now. I can start the slides up if you're ready. Yep. Jump right in. All right. Here we go. All right. And so I can move the slides ahead, right? Or. Yeah. I mean, you're controlling the screen. I'm just. Oh, oh there, that's something new. Okay. I am in control. So um, <laughs> <laughs> this is just like how to add a bit of spirituality into your day. But there's, you know, it's a little bit of work to, um, to do that. So do I do it from the other screen? Is that what I do? Yeah, yeah from the screen that it's on. Okay. <clears throat> so um, what is spirituality? Well, I find spirituality is actually really personal. And how I define spirituality and how you define spirituality might be completely different. And... Um, they, it might mean different things for uh, you and I, <clears throat> which doesn't make it right or wrong or anything. It's just how you are going to pursue it, pursue your, um, your uh, whatever, per, sorry, you're, how you're going to pursue yeah. your endeavor to get your spirit in your body. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, I decide, I think my everyday uh, definition of spirituality is being in the moment, being present, mm -hmm. being in my body, which is being aware for me, and listening to my heart and intuition. Mm -hmm. Mind, body, spirit is you. So this is not as easy as it sounds. Um, and I don't know if you actually know 
<clears throat> a lot about doing this, but most of the time when we're trying to be in our body or be present, our brain is like, hey, you got to wash the dishes, but don't forget to add uh, paper towels to the list of things you need to buy. And oh, mm -hmm. who's picking up the kids after soccer? You know, and when are my parents coming to visit? So you need to quiet your brain. And the magic behind being present and in your body and quieting your brain is you have to distract that bugger that you call a brain because it's not going to stop. It's going to keep talking at you and to you. <clears throat> so good distractions for that are um, nature, um, being walking, going for a walk in nature, going out, drinking your coffee on your deck, anything mm. that takes you outside, anything. Um, some certain activities will um, can are good distractions for you. Like um, probably Stephanie, you find when you box, that's all you think about is boxing, right? You're mm -hmm. not thinking about anything else. Um, for me, like playing golf um, puts me totally in the moment because I, if I think of anything else, I can't play well. And then right. of course, meditation is a good will help you learn to distract your brain. But that's like everybody's least favorite thing to do. Um, well, it's... I think a lot of it is because people think it's like, oh, you can't you have to empty your mind and think of nothing. Yeah. You know, like that's the interpretation or that's what people are taught or told or they, their belief is like uh, anything short of that and you're not meditating. Yeah, I, th I, I think you're right. Like they, um, they think you start at like the super Buddha level right. and it's just like, um, weight training or, mm -hmm. um, boxing, you have to start with the basics. And if you can't mm -hmm. do it for two seconds, you can't do it for a minute. So, right. you know, you got to start with your two seconds and mm -hmm. I, that's how I started. I would just sit at my Island close my eyes and just breathe for if I could do it for a whole minute and not, you know, and bring my mind back, it would, it would wander off, but bring my mind back and bring my mind back. Right. Um, if I could do that for a minute, I felt like I had achieved everything. Mm -hmm. So then, and then it gets easier and easier, just like any muscle that you're working. So um, to be in your body, be in the moment, you want to try concentrating on your breath. And um, I know this is, it's like people always, well, um, the breathing thing again, really, really, mm. it's all about the breath. So, you know, you can put your hand on your um, sternum, you can um, put your hand on your belly because you want to breathe into that too. And just sort of try and focus on your inhaling and your exhaling. Mm -hmm. And then you can think about pulling your inhale down into your pelvis, which will make you think about more of your body. Mm -hmm. And then you want to exhale from the bottom of your pelvis and, you know, push the air out and do that several times. And you, um, after you've tried this a few times, you'll find that you really can think about your body and you feel your body. You will feel mm -hmm. your body, which is not what we do all day long. Right. Because if you actually sat and felt your body be like, oh, this hurts and that aches and I really need to adjust this. But we don't. Mm -hmm. We just move and move and move. Right. I think um, mm -hmm. we're so we're so used to or not even used to, but we're well, maybe that's what it is. But we feel like we have to propel forward all the time instead of right. stopping and evaluating what's going on. Mm -hmm. So. um the tune in. So the, the next thing you want to do is tune in with your intuition. Once you're in your body, once you're present, you want to tune in with your intuition. And um, intuition is, um, some people think it's, uh, well, it's instinctive knowing, right? That's your intuition. You, do, you don't have to do any critical thinking. You don't have to get any data. You don't, you just go, oh, mm -hmm. I know that. Uh, I know that this is the next right thing, or I feel this is the next right thing. And some people feel it's like a third chakra um, skill 
where it, it which would be behind your solar plexus. Mm -hmm. And some people think it's both your second and your sixth. Then your second is your sacral chakra and your sixth chakra is your head. So your sacral mm -hmm. chakra is your feelings and your sixth chakra is your knowing. So, mm -hmm. you know, you feel it and you know that you have it, that it's the right thing. But for me, I always feel the hit right in my third, right behind my um, solar plexus when, mm -hmm. I, when I'm getting a um, intuitive hit. Mm hmm do you do that, Stephanie? Do you feel like? I do. Um, I would say more. For me, I get it's in my, actually in my, more in my arms. I notice it. Really? Yeah. I get like, it feels like the, like, uh, like the hair on my arm stands up. That's my. Oh. It, it starts to okay, tingle. So it's, it's the sensation of like when you get, you know, goosebumps. I don't actually yeah. physically get them, but that's what it feels like. It feels like I have these bumps, um, but I don't. It just is that that's the sensation. It's always right. a, an intuitive sort of like click of like, yes, that's it. Or that's, that's awesome. I, I didn't, yeah. yeah. I've never heard anybody <laughs> have that, but so that's just a really awesome other thing. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be any of these. It can be something else. Um so, um, oh, so for intuition, so sometimes it's not quite that simple though, right? Sometimes you have mm. to tune in to find it. So how do you do that? <clears throat> and so we're going to talk a little bit about muscle testing. I don't know if anybody knows about muscle testing on here. You probably some, do some version of it for some things. Mm -hmm. And do you do any muscle testing? I have, yeah. Yep. Okay. So there's, um, I've done there's actually a, all of those. I've done those yeah. Um, at, there's a gazillion ways to do it. Mm -hmm. And these are um, just some examples where it's, it, it, your intuition is going to help you answer questions, um, mostly yes or no questions uh, when you, with um, muscles. So mm -hmm. the first one, the okay sign, you're going to break the circle and you, you would make an okay sign. You can use any finger to thumb. Mm -hmm. um, that you want. And you, the other hand, you are going to use your finger here or a finger to break the circle. And mm -hmm. what you do is um, if the circle breaks, then it's a false or a negative or a no. And if the mm -hmm. circle doesn't break, it's a yes. So mm -hmm. you can, I'll test this. You can try this, um, you know, make your circle, whichever one's most comfortable for you. And you can mm -hmm. say, my name is Penelope, and then see if it breaks. Yep. So it easily breaks for me. And then you can make that circle again and say, my name is whatever your name is, and it doesn't want to break. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Um, there's another one that I kind of like, the finger test, where you put um, you can put your hand on your leg. I'm going to put up my other arm. And you pick a finger up. Mm -hmm. I can't put it on my other arm, of course because I need my hand and you use the finger that's up to test and you say, you know, my name is Penelope. And if it, you can push it down, mm -hmm. then that's false. And my name is Judy and it doesn't go, doesn't move at all. And I encourage you to try these yourself because you will find that some of them work mm -hmm. for you and some of them don't work for you. And you really need to, um, you know, like any muscle, try it and practice mm. it and it will get better and better and better. Um, I think a lot of that is people, I think, sorry to interrupt, but I think people will think they have to be perfect at it, you know, or be an expert at it before they even attempt it. You know, oh. part of it is, you know what I'm saying? Where it's, yeah. you just need to try it. You have to try it just to see if you can do it. And you'll, you'll find the thing that works for you. And then instead of saying like, what's the right thing for me is you have to explore it. Right? You got to try right. it and figure out which one's going to be a good choice. Right, right. I've tried all of these and I've settled in on um, the sway I, and others like there's a, a one where you put your two fingers together where's mm -hmm. my and um, you they split apart yeah. or they don't. Um, there's a there's a gazillion ways to do these. My favorite is the sway. And so that's oh, the one I practice right. the most. And I can feel it now sitting down. I don't even have to get I can get like halfway through a question and I can tell which way I'm going. Mm. And um, the, it's this way is really simple. It's 
standing up, you would always want to try it standing up first. Mm -hmm. And um, it's the same thing. I don't know if I can, you can actually see me, but it's the same thing. You'd stand up and you'd say, mm -hmm. my name is Penelope and my nose, I go backwards. My name is Judy. I come forward. Mm -hmm. and, um, that helps. Um, that helps me hone in on my intuition. Um, so a couple of things about muscle testing, like we just said, you have to find the one that works for you or the one that works mm -hmm. in your situation at the moment. So sometimes people use um, one test for when they're with their clients and one test, you know, like I sometimes use this way when I'm with my clients so they don't see my hands doing things. And um, I use uh, the circle sometimes um, if I feel like this way is not working for me that day. And, and you know, mm -hmm. things like, it may not always work for you. You just have to, you know, bear with it. It's the universe. Right. <laughs> don't, don't ask it the question in a yes and then ask again to get a no. So like, don't say, um, you know, should I have chicken for dinner and get a, you know, if you get a no, don't say, oh, I shouldn't have dick chicken today, you know? So, you know, honor and respect the first answer and ignore it if you think that it's not right, you know, but don't mm. keep asking because um, I feel like the universe gets a little bit, um, and you know, annoyed when you don't believe it the first time. Yeah. So, and stick, stick with it, really stick with it. The, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. And um, uh -huh. the more you'll learn to trust it and really, um, uh, um, really like what what it's doing for you so then you're going to put that all together and um we could do that for we'll take like a minute if that's okay with everybody right sure um so you can just sit there um wherever you are you can have your legs crossed your feet flat on the floor take a deep breath exhale it out you can close your eyes if you want. Put your hand on your chest if you want. Maybe one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. Take the inhales through your nose. Exhale through your nose. If you're not feeling well and you can't, your nose feels stuffy, then of course use your mouth. Notice as you inhale that the air feels cool on the back of your throat. Notice as you exhale that the air feels warmer coming through. Notice on your inhale the coolness and the dryness of the air. How far down your throat can you get that coolness and dryness to come? Notice on your exhale <clears throat> that the air is warmer and it's moister. Do that again, inhale, notice the coolness, draw the breath down to your pelvis. Let it swirl in your pelvis. And then exhale that warmer air out. Inhale, draw the air down into your pelvis. Exhale, all that nice warm air out. So take a moment here and notice your feet on the ground. Notice your sit bones down. Notice your spine coming up from your pelvis. And then you can open your eyes. <clears throat> and now ask some burning yes or no question to the universe. So should I have a glass of wine later? No. <laughs> okay. 
<clears throat> so yeah, you probably want to start with yes or no questions so you can get clear answers. Mm -hmm. And then you can change, you know, as you progress, as you build that muscle, you can start asking questions about like, what should my next move forward be? What should, how should I change um, my career to suit me better? So I would encourage you to practice this at least once a day. The more you practice, the easier it gets. The more you'll learn to trust yourself. Mm -hmm the easier the rest of your self-care becomes because you've shut things down for just a few minutes each day. And you realize that, you know what, what you need is a little bit more alone time probably and a little less, mm -hmm. you know, um, Manny petties. Not that I, I, I like my Manny petties too, but I don't consider them um, self-care anymore. I consider them, you know, part of what I need to do for my job. <clears throat> my self-care mm. through this kind of practice. <clears throat> and then um, in coming in late February, I'm doing a divine guidance. What is this stuff? Mentoring group. So mm -hmm. we'll be meeting on zoom and talking about these kinds of things. And um other things that we'll, we'll be doing is um, learning to balance our own chakras through an energy healing that we can do to ourselves and um, energetic hygiene, which mm -hmm. nobody talks about, um, and um, uh, 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 smudging, other things like that to clean our aura, clean our space. So a lot of energetic hygiene-y things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, Sorry. Were you saying something? I know. I said that's great. That's great. That's um, yeah, thanks. Um, and so if anybody has any questions right now, I'm happy to answer them, talk about anything else. Yeah, let if anyone has any questions, just think about them in the chat and I can share them with Judy. And then also we're going to be um, replaying this a few times. Yeah, so you could be watching a replay them. right now. Share them um, and then Ooh. you could be... Um, sorry, I left my fans out there. <laughs> um, you know, always just put them in the chat. You know, another time, and we'll get tagged, and we can follow up. Um, yeah. Do you want to leave the screen on, or leave that? Uh, so for oh, so DM you for more info, so you yeah. can find her on Facebook. Yeah, my mailing list. Yeah, yeah. I'll add you. Yeah, get you more information cool. about it. So cool. yeah, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Hope that was helpful for. Yeah, that's great. Out there, yeah. Very helpful. I mean, I think especially for a lot of people that are just starting out, don't know where to start, and maybe want to get involved in something more seriously. But this is a a way to to try the things to kind of know, you know, what they're getting into before they make a decision. Like, I want to get all in with breath work, or I want to get all in with chakra work. You know, this is a good right. Thing. Right. That's There's right. a, cause the world is so big that I, I mean, yeah. any, the spiritual world is so big and there's so many avenues and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Good place definitely. to start. Yep. Yeah, definitely. So that's great. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you. So uh, like I said, anybody, if you have any questions, if you watch the replay, uh, let us know and we will get back to you and Judy, you want to stick around and I'll end this here and okay. thank you for joining us. Thank you for the time. opportunity, Stephanie. Oh, you're welcome. This has been great. Very helpful and informative. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.